Oh, oh Furlong, the sidestep from the tight head. So Johnny Sexton kicks off for Ireland. And Natalie Price in possession straight away. Here's Sexton. There's a lot of height on that. It will test the Scottish captain. And Hogg couldn't get hold of it. It's a knock-on Irish advantage. They're trying to desperately clear that ball out. Scotland put hands on the ball. Here come Ireland again through the inevitable CJ Stander. Gibson Park, it's all Ireland. Johnny Sexton for Keith Earls to chase. It's a huge in goal area here at Murray Field. Can Ireland get their hands to the ball through Robbie Henshaw? And is that the opening try of the game? So much pressure there put on the Scottish defence aerially. And Ireland might well have scored the try. It's confirmed by Poit. For Russell and Cummings. Now it's Stuart Hogg, and here's Sam Johnson, and it's Hamish Watson for Duhan van der Merwe. But there's two Irish defenders who had drifted across to cover the danger man in that 11 shirt for the Thistles. Oh, and it's knock on, surely, there, I think, by Rory Sutherland. And Ireland again have the ball back. Just can't retain possession. Oh, oh Furlong, the sidestep from the tight head. Look at the footwork here from Tag Furlong. Felt the pressure of Turner coming in on him. Right foot step, right foot step. Gets beyond Finn Russell, who went round him earlier on. Look at that. Brilliant stuff. 19 stone tight head prop forward, showing the footwork of guys wearing numbers much higher on their jerseys than he does. This time it's Scotland's turn to do damage. Ali Price, Russell Johnson, great hands from Johnson under real pressure from the Irish defence. And now it's Stuart Hogg in possession. God, oh, you're right, it is physical out there, but Cummings is. Had the ball turned over, now Stuart Hogg, can Stuart Hogg gather here? It's a real race for the line, there's Irish defenders back there, it's all about the bounce! And Finn Russell takes full advantage of it, as Robbie Henshaw did for Ireland a short time ago, and it's all about staying alive and never giving up. Scotland capitalise, make the most of a moment that falls their way, and they've suddenly got control of the scoreboard. With the face checked. And that set piece is malfunctioning heavily so far. Duhan van der Merwe, good tackle by Keith Earls. Right round the bootstraps. Surprised that wasn't a penalty. Oh, it, yeah, it is. Six on his feet, clearly. 12 from 13, beg your pardon. Missed the conversion. But can he keep this very solid run going? He can, Johnny Saxton. Much better strike. And 11 points to 10, Ireland edge ahead. This is one tight Celtic encounter. Here's uh, Ringrose. By Gibson Park and Tyburn hitting that ball with immense pace. And he is really mature as an international rugby player, Tyburn. He was let go by the Leinster Academy. At one stage he was delivering pizzas. And then Wayne Pivak picked him up at the Scarlets. As Ireland pick up another penalty for offside. Well, he loved the strike, Johnny Saxton. Stay there. Herring, it's Ryan who climbs really high there. And in come a whole load of green Irish boulders. And Scotland have managed to bring that, that mall down, and they brought it down quickly. So here's Henderson. 
Good defence by Scotland. Steve Tandy's done an amazing job with this Scotland rear guard. Defence and again on the angle on the line. At pace with power, Ty Byrne gets the latch on, drives for that Scottish line. Hamish Watson does his utmost to get underneath that ball for Scotland. But he can't quite do enough, and Ty Byrne adds to his tally of Irish scores. It's just power, it's just man-on-man -man power from Ireland. The mall was stopped initially. George Turner goes low, Sam Johnson goes high. Tag Byrne just manages to fight beyond both of them and gets the ball Very underneath soft. Hamish Watson, diving for the line there. Free kick to Scotland. Ali Price wants to get this shifting quickly, which he does, and he finds Sam Johnson. Does well, Johnson beats a couple of Irish defenders. Ali Price comes in quickly, it's quick ball. Grant Gilchrist on off the bench. Now here goes Stuart Hogg. And here comes Scotland, weaving through is Hugh Jones, who's just arrived on the field for Scotland. Low goes high, Keenan had an eye on van der Merve on the outside. And Hugh Jones off the bench, first touch. He capitalises, right-footed step Sorry. to get beyond Gibson Park, the le legs that. pump beyond <laughs> Ringrose, and the score is given. It was the score that Scotland really needed. Bearing down on that Irish line, trying to crush their way across it through Gilchrist. Again, it's inches short. Ali Price. Trying to shape the players outside him. Gets it to Haining. Connors comes in. Double tackle on Haining. Platt goes down again. It's all happening out there. But what Scotland want to happen is a try. Cherry tries to burrow. Almost digging a tunnel underground. Watson has it now. Have they got the ball down in the ground there? It looks like the flowing locks of Hamish Watson. <laughs> I think he's got over. I think he thought, look at that agility and mobility in the upper half to get the ball on the ground. It is phenomenal effort. Does he keep a hold of it? Try. What a score. Yeah. So you can stay on non field decision to try. Okay. 24 points yeah, apiece. That's what you call a close rivalry. Ireland and Scotland. And George Stein comes in from Ryan Baird. Penalty. Penalty to Ireland. And Scotland yet again concede a kickable effort inside their own half. He's had many moments like this in his career. Remember the drop goal in the red numbers that beat France as Ireland headed towards a Grand Slam. Is he going to do the same kind of thing here to Scotland? Oh yes he is! Ireland edge ahead! Is that the kick that wins this Six Nations game in Edinburgh? The yes, defenders as he can, he's eventually caught by Kelleher. Stuart Hogg beaten so many defenders in this championship with footwork like that. Here's Watson, just batters his way, bounces bared out of the way. Dave Cherry, and it's Stuart Hogg again. Hugh Jones once more, but Ireland doing well to keep Scotland inside their own half. Ian Henderson with a really crucial tackle there, and his work rate and energy throughout the game like so many others, has been vast. Thanks, Andrew. Cherry once more. No, 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 16, One no. mistake from Scotland here, and it's all over. It'll be yet another oh, defeat no, against no. the Irish. They've had so many in recent times. Add this one to the list in the tightest of games, in the most exciting of games. It's Ireland who have beaten Scotland by just...
a one-score margin, and it was that Johnny Sexton penalty at the end, secured for Ireland by Ian Henderson, that made the difference. But Ireland heroes all, and they have won here at Murrayfield by 27 points to 24.